Okay, welcome. Today we're going to write a short program in idle and make sure that we can open it, save it and load it again. So if you have a shortcut for idle, then it's as straightforward as double clicking idle. You wait for it to load and we always want to go file, new file, so that once we're finished writing the code, you can go to save as and save it in your desired location. If you do not yet have a shortcut for idle, then you will need to find it. So this will be where it was downloaded to. It might be different for you. For me, it's in File Explorer on the local disk and mine's in Program Data. Now, if you don't see Program Data as yours has saved to there, then that is because it is a hidden folder. In order to show a hidden folder, you need to go to View and you will see a tick box for hidden items. And if you tick the box, you'll finally get program data. So mine is saved in program data, and then Anaconda 3, scripts, and then in here, you will find idle, and you can create a shortcut. Or if you want, and you prefer going to that location every time, you can just double click from there, it opens the same place. So we can, of course, in idle, just start typing straight away. So if we just type a simple program, hello world, and run it, it will automatically start printing things out. However, if you actually want to be able to save your, your program, your code, then you want to go to file, new file, and in here, you want to write your program. So I'm just going to do print, Hello world, again, and this time we want to go to file, save as, I've made a YouTube tutorials folder, I'm going to overwrite the one I already have, and then we can either go run and run, or press F5 on the keyboard, and it will of course run hello world. If you want to find a an opener a file that you already have, you can go to the location of the file, so YouTube tutorials, and hello world. And the first time you run this, it will probably come up with a menu. If you double click on it, saying that it, it does not have a program associated with this type of file to run. So you could go right click, open with, you will need to click more apps and then you will have to click on look for another app in this PC and then you'll have to go to the same location that you saved Anaconda in. So program data, Anaconda 3, scripts and we will need to find idle and if we double click on that it will now open up and it will load and every single time I now double click it opens up the code. Notice that if you're using Anaconda, double-clicking the file doesn't actually run it. It simply opens the program code, which is actually preferable. Uh, but some versions of Python, if you double-click it, it will actually just run. So all this program is doing is it is printing the, the text, hello world, very simple. That is it. You don't have to use idle if you don't want to you can if you want go to google you can type in pycharm which is one editor for python you could download pycharm for windows mac os or linux and that will be one way to do it you can also go to repl it's repl.it python but I'm going to type it in like this to get to google python free repl.it and if you click on that then this is a editor that allows you to write and run code straight through the web browser so if I do print hello world in here and click the run button it should come straight up on the right hand side. So if you don't want to download Anaconda or Python, you don't want to use idle, you can use 
Report IT, which is an online editor, but it isn't perfect. It doesn't always work for everything, but it is quite reliable. My preferred method is to write programs using Notepad++, which is very quick to download if you just type in Notepad++ in Google. So in Notepad++, we can just do the same. So print hello world and then go file, save as, and call it hello world 2.py. So it saves it as a Python file, click save, and then we have our Python file. Now in order to run from uh, Notepad++, you unfortunately need to use the command line, which can be a little bit difficult to set up with Anaconda, but I have set mine up. So when I'm in the command prompt, I have to type in conda active base to allow it to work in the command line and then change directory to where the program is currently stored. And then we do Python hello world 2.py and it will run. And in fact, we can, of course, just run the other one. Now, this is a little bit more technical. You have to change a few directories and type in certain things in the command line to get this to work each time. But it is effective rather than having to rely on idle. So there we have it. Hopefully, this has been a short demonstration on how to set up our first program. And we can run it. And I would say by far the easiest if you're just starting out the easiest way is to just use idle, save and run through idle and we can work from there.